And so the prodigal son, the, the parable of the prodigal son is about two sons, a father, a good father. Somebody say a good, good father. And the youngest son comes and says, Daddy, I want my stuff now. Now, now, you know, we, we look at that and we go on to the next verse. But that was powerful right there. And, and so he went and told his daddy, you know, I want everything that's due to me. And his daddy said, well, you know what? Here, son. And, and it wasn't too long after that that the Bible says he took it all and went into a far off land. Try to get as far away as he could. And the Bible said that he wasted his living. He wasted all he had on riotous living. That means he hung out with, you know, the drug addicts and the prostitutes. I mean, the, 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 the partying crowd. That's who he hung out with. And they were his friends until he ran out of money. Now, you know, the, 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 the young man must not have had too much fiscal uh, understanding. It, 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 if he got, now see, here, here's the way that thing worked. He had a rich daddy, and if, if his daddy had two sons, see, the oldest son would get a double portion. So that means stuff would be that divided up in, in the thirds. That means the oldest would get two thirds. That means he got a third of the wealth of his daddy. Now, if he had any sense at all, he'd have stuck some of it in a bank somewhere, bought some stock or something, bought a house. I mean, do something. Why would he just spend it all? And, and when it's all gone, what you going to do? Well, the Bible says what he did. He tried to get a job, y'all. But guess what? A famine came. I found myself down so low, I don't think I could get no lower. And it's sort of like, what am I doing here? My parents did not raise me like this. I came to myself. There needs to be a point in everybody's life where you come to a realization that God's got more for me than this. The Bible doesn't say why he left, but, he, but there was a reason, though. I guarantee that. There was a reason he left. But I know that's the reason a lot of people leave the church. How many of y'all ever heard somebody say they ain't got no love over there? <laughs> Now, you know, I ain't been to their church, so I don't know if they got any love over there or not. But I'm just wondering if he wasn't receiving none, I wish, I wonder if he was giving any. A lot of times you get what you receive. I mean, you, 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 what you give is what you receive, you know. And so, for whatever reason, he left. But the Bible says he came to himself. In other words, he realized, you know what? I'm out here now in this mess. People I thought were my friends, and that's another thing the world will do. Get you out there and think people are your friends. And as long as you got something, they are your friends. But let it be all gone and see how much friend they are. They scattered like roaches when you turn the light on. Some of y'all don't know nothing about that. As long as he's with the Father, he didn't have to worry about nothing. Nothing! He left the real source to go out somewhere else that he thought was better.